Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a summertime haul for you guys. I know I said I was going to take it a little bit easier on the hauls, but I can't even think of a good reason to give you guys right now. So anyway, everything in this haul is going to be from the store, um, Necessary Clothing. And this is my first time purchasing from them. One of my best friends in the entire world, my best friend from college, um, she's just always sending me pictures or tagging me on the necessary clothing Instagram page of outfits and things like that that she think that she thinks I would like. About I want to say a week before I left to Vegas, she tags me on a picture, and if I can find it, I will pop it in here. But I fell in love, and I'm just like, all right, we're just gonna do the online ordering thing. My flight is in two days. I'm not going to the city, and I want this really bad. So. Um, the item in question that she tagged me on is actually the first one that I'm going to show you guys in this video. And I liked it so much that I got it in two colors. So she tagged me on this blush romper. Let me show you guys. Um, and the blush color I ordered in a size small and then the green kind of um, army color I ordered in a size medium just because I thought the bottoms might be like super super short in a small so I just got one of each side to kind of figure it out um, but they both pretty much fit almost the same the blush is a little bit shorter yeah anyway so this is the item that caused the entire purchase I just fell absolutely head over heels in love with it I love the color I love the silkiness um, I feel like it's a really cute kind of baby doll romper but it's also like the silky sheen of the fabric makes it a little bit more dressy very very pretty I actually wore the green one already so I don't have it to show you right now because it is in the laundry but I will pop in pictures wearing it um, I had well my guy had a birthday brunch and I went as his date and I wore it for that so there you guys can kind of see um, we went to the city for brunch it was a really nice place and then we went to a rooftop lounge nearby afterwards also in the city so it, it worked because it was very hot outside so it definitely is a great summertime piece but the sheen of the fabric and just the cut even this kind of high waisted um, not high waisted this thick waisted or thick band around the waist it just looks very kind of dressy just very very pretty so it can definitely work for something a little bit more fancy or casual and it also has pockets on the sides which I absolutely adore and I loved it so much that I just had to get both colors I wish they had more colors I would have probably gotten one in every single color they had but just super super cute and it looks great with a really nice pair of heels okay so of course that romper was the reason why I made the purchase, but I couldn't just stop there because, I mean, I've been wanting to check this store out for a couple of years now, so, <coughs> excuse me, I figure while I'm at it, let me get a couple of things since I'm already here. If I sound a little bit funny, guys, let me just apologize in advance. I lost my voice in Vegas. I lose my voice every time I go to Vegas. Um... So it's still like trying to, I think it caught a later flight and I got here and my voice is still traveling its way back to New York. But we're getting there, just in case I sound a little bit weird or nasally or congested or I don't even know. Anyway, the next piece I really, really loved. It's a long dress, but it's kind of like these shorts, like a short romper. Um, the front is a very deep V cut. Uh, I feel like I might need some double-sided tape on this one just in case I feel like it's a little bit too deep and might float open or something like that or a really nice kind of bralette or something um, like a bandeau top underneath just so you know if you see the top underneath it doesn't really matter but I really really loved it the short sleeves are transparent and then it does have the shorts, like I said, but it also has kind of this maxi dress overlay going on on top of the shorts. And I just thought that this was really, really pretty. I love the color and the fabric because, I mean, it looks kind of like a doily or a tablecloth if you want to get technical. But with this kind of mustard yellow color, it feels very vintage. And I feel like it just looks very kind of old elegance if that makes any sense so I really really like this alright let's keep it rolling I just got this crop top little gray gray 
Where do I see gray hair, guys? I'm losing it. Green um, beater, just something super casual. I get so much use out of things like this. Um, and I'll have the price and stuff popped in on the screen like I always do. I don't remember offhand, but whenever I find things like basic pieces like this that are affordable, I always get them because I seriously use items like that all the time, so they always come in handy for me. Now, if you guys have been following me or if you follow me on Instagram, and as well you're going to see in this haul, I'm kind of like on a green binge lately. So last week I posted outfit pictures, I think three consecutive days I wore some combination of gray and green. Um, but I don't know, like I've just been... I've just been going with it and everything that I feel like wearing is like in this color scheme so I also got this top again it's kind of a basic um, just a v-neck spaghetti strap but this one is a bodysuit and it also has this double crisscross in the back so again super super casual and basic item but it does have a little bit of something extra so you could pair this with a nice pair of pants or jeans and it's just a little bit more dressy the crisscross in the back gives it something extra than if it would just be a plain tank top you know what I mean all right guys two more I told you I didn't go too crazy this time the next item is actually a belt and I just thought it was so cool and I really liked how it looked on like the model and the outfit that she had on so it's kind of like this high-waisted belt with the two clasps or the two closures and for, okay, let me grab this, fringe all the way down, so it's like a maxi dress belt fringe thing. Super cute, I just, I loved it so much. I'm like, okay, it's a little different, a little bit out of the box, but we're going to get interesting, we're going to get, what's, okay, there's a bar, oh, let's get weird. There's a bar in Brooklyn by where I grew up. It's called uh, Brooklyn Whiskey. So if you guys are in the area, it's in Williamsburg. You could check it out. But yeah, it's just a really like fun spot to chill. They have like some games and stuff there too. It's nice to go with your friends. Um, and yeah, they all the bartenders wear shirts and on the back it says, let's get weird. So I don't know. That just popped into my mind because this is definitely a little bit weird, especially holding it like this. I don't know. It's like, what is this? But... It looks really cute in the outfit, so I'm really excited to like just go with it. Sometimes you see things that are like maybe out of your comfort zone or out of the box or a little bit different. But if you feel drawn to that item, I definitely recommend getting at least one weird out of your comfort zone item because if you feel drawn to it, it's for a reason. You're definitely going to make it work. You're going to rock the life out of it and you're going to look good doing it. So this is my let's get weird item. <laughs> And the last item that I picked up is another romper. Now this is one of those multi-wear romper things. So let me just kind of throw these over my shoulder. There you go. So it's just a little shorts romper. Really cute. I love, love the print. The whole like light pastel-y purple and blue colors. Just I just absolutely love it. So then the top is just basically two long strings. So you've got some over yourself action going here and then right here and then you can do whatever you want with the rest of the string so you can halter tie I mean you can tie it like a halter top um, and they are very long so you can it's those multi-wear items that you can literally wear like 15 different ways and I think I know about four ways so I'm still working on learning more ways to put it on but the way that I have been doing it which you'll see in the video is just putting it over um, tying it behind my neck and then bringing it down in a crisscross along my back and then making like a little belt out of it because it's really cute and simple to do like that and I feel like it's nice and secure in place but there are a lot of different cute ways that you can wear this so I like these items because it's like one piece of clothing that looks different every time you wear it so boom Alright guys, so I just wanted to pop in here and share a couple of the new additions to my closet with you guys I am trying to be a good girl and not go hamsies with the shopping, but you know me and my addiction to fashion can get a little bit serious sometimes, but yeah guys, that's what I have to show you for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more fashion hauls or fashion lookbooks in the future. I just posted a lookbook earlier this week as well. It's all one-piece swimsuits. I thought it would be fun to do something strictly with one-pieces because personally I'm always wearing two-pieces just to get a better tan or more tan 
Um, but there's a lot of really, really sexy one pieces that I've been seeing lately, so I wanted to kind of dedicate a video to that. There's also a huge $300 fashion giveaway going on with that video, so be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link down below, as well as any other information for you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today. This highlight is just, oh, I keep looking in the viewfinder. Let me show you guys. You get a little bonus right now. I got a new little highlight wheel by Ofra Cosmetics. It's called Beverly Hills Highlighter, and oh, I love. This is what it looks like. I'm wearing this top color right here mixed with a little bit of the, per the pink color next to it. And I just literally put it in my finger and I just dabbed. And then I blended it out with a fan brush. But it's like high lit to the gods. Like, I'm just... <laughs> Easily distracted that glow in the viewfinder though. Okay, and that's it guys everything I wanted to share with you guys I'll link the highlighter down below too because I just got it recently and I'm like absolutely in love So I love you guys so 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 very much Um, happy to be back home back to work I know I took a little bit of time off and you guys were very patient and supportive with me and I'm happy to be back I feel rejuvenated Vegas was amazing. EDC was amazing. I'm gonna see. I was, I tried to get as much footage as I could, but I was just so in the moment and in heaven um, that at times I was even forgetting to like check the time on my phone. Like I was just literally living in that one moment. It was the most beautiful experience of my life. Um, but I'm gonna try to compile everything together with what I have and bug my friends for anything they might have recorded as well and try to get kind of an after movie vlog, travel vlog thing up for you guys for that as well as for Mystery Land, which will probably be first because that festival came first. Anyway, I'm just totally stalling right now because I just like hanging out with you guys. So I'm gonna let you go because I know you guys have lives to get back to. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I love you so much and I'll see you really soon guys. Bye.